I was planning on using my tripod in the making of this video, but it is gone. By the way, the box is upside down. This is a very interesting tape recorder from an estate sale. I have two of these. They're not exactly the same, but they're extremely similar. The other one is not working at the moment. This one is working. It is a very old, probably from the 1950s, Norelco dictation recorder. Now, Norelco is the same as Philips. Um, the reason why Philips called their things Norelco in the United States was so that people wouldn't get the name confused with another company called Philco, which was in the United States. But this is a very interesting machine. I believe made in Holland. Um, it was owned by a doctor, but unfortunately all the original recordings that would have been on the tapes had been erased. Um, I guess the doctors probably had to have those tapes erased so that um, medical information would be uh, any the medical information that was on them would they probably didn't want to leave them on there for other people to just to hear. But it's a real to real machine. It uses standard 3 inch reels, but Norelco or Philips adapted a cartridge that you could put the reels inside and they are removable. You take that metal piece off and you just take the cartridge off and you got two regular 3 inch tape reels that can be removed. The thing is, this machine used rim drive and not capstan drive to run the tape, but it's probably a lot more torque and constant speed on the rim drive on this than a lot of the cheaper rim drive recorders had. And I'm sure this recorder is AC bias. The sound quality is nice and clear, but it's not loud. I have the machine out of the case. Um, this machine does not run off batteries. It runs off AC only. But it looks to be kind of portable. Although it is thick. It's, kind of, it's pretty bulky. But it does only use 3 inch reels. But the interesting thing about this recorder is that it uses vacuum tubes uses two vacuum tubes in it. And I don't think there is any kind of level control in recording. It's probably one preset level. Now this is the company that sold the machine back in the day. I do not have a manual but I do have other accessories with it. The table that this is sitting on actually goes with the tape recorder. If you look here you will see there are four holes on the table. I believe they go along with where you would have screws on that held the machine together. I think you could take the screws off and bolt the machine to the table. And under it you have a place where you can put all your things. Here we have a stethoscope hearing earphone which doesn't seem to work. I tried it out but nothing came through. A foot switch which controls play and rewind. And a microphone with the Norelco name on it which also is used as a speaker. Um, I'm trying to find where it says Made in Holland right there. Made in Holland. Um, of course they use DEN connectors. And on the side of the table is a little place so you can hang the microphone 
and it plugs right in there. Unfortunately, there's a crack right there. So the microphone will plug in there. The foot switch plugs into the back. If you were to use this steth stethoscope hearing earphone, it would plug in the same place where the microphone does. And have an extra tape. Unfortunately, the masking tape price tag they put on it ripped off a tiny bit of that. That's why they shouldn't do that. They should they shouldn't have put a price tag on it at all. But that's the price we have to pay for putting a price tag on something like this. North American Phillips Company, Noroco, and a lot of fresh tape in here. Yet still, it's dirty tape. This one has smaller size hubs than this tape. So this one might have a lot, a little bit more recording time. This machine works off the original parts, except I did replace one belt for the rewind. Although the belt was intact and it was rewinding with the original belt, the original belt had lots of cracks in it and it was just on the verge of breaking, so I went ahead and replaced it. Um, let's power it on. Turn the volume all the way up. The, the thing is volume is not loud. It's not loud at all. Um, it comes out the little microphone speaker. Now I have to give it some time to warm up the tubes. And then we can run the machine either by doing the foot switch. On this side we'll play it, the other side we'll rewind it. It can also be controlled into play mode by pressing the top of the microphone. This machine is quite interesting. It might need new capacitors though. It's just not loud. And now let's show it record. This is simply there to use to grip your finger. Engage it into record like that. And then that light will come on you push and it will record. I'm now recording on the very vintage and probably very very, very rare. It even has a counter right there. Now we can also rewind it by this button. You have to hold it and then we can play back. and probably very, very rare piece of history. This Norelco Phillips dictation tape recorder owned by a doctor. This is probably the way they did dictation notes back in the 1950s. Hmm. Why is it still playing? It's supposed to stop. I do not know why it's still playing. There we go. Oh, it locks. I see. If you on the switch, I just found out. If you push it and you slide it over to the left a little bit, it will lock. Then you push it again, you slide it to the right, it will come all the way back up. It also has fast forward. You have to hold that down. Here's the interesting fact. No, I have to speak like up close. Here's the interesting fact about Normal. this. standard three inch reels. Now what I want to do is I want to play this back but in order to hear it properly I want to play it back on a Sony TC-105 which I can switch to hear the other track of the tape. So let's get that out. Here we have the Sony TC-105A. That we will be using Don't worry, I do have the microphone to it. Um, we'll have to just guess the speed. Let's assume it runs around 3 and 3 fourths IPS.
order to play the other track of the tape, we switch the track exchange button. Switch. This machine actually runs more at 1 and 7 8 IPS to record the tape, so I switched it to that speed. Here's the interesting fact. Now I have to speak like up close. Here's the interesting fact about this. Although it is a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder and uses standard 3-inch reels, it records on the other track than normal recorders record. So if you play a two-track tape that has been recorded on a standard portable reel-to-reel, -reel, be it rim drive or capstan drive, this recorder will play those recordings in reverse. It will, it will actually play the other side of the tape in reverse because the track is on the other half of the tape than normal. I will now try recording a recording on this other track using this recorder and see how it plays back on the Norelco. Here I have the original mic to the recorder. Push record. Put it into play. This is a recording made on the Sony TC-105A. Recording made on the Sony TC-105A. And what we are doing is we will play this. As you can see, the reels don't have to be in the cartridge to play on this machine either. This is a recording made on the Sony TC-105A. And what we are doing is we will play this recording back on the Norelco. We're recording on the other track so that we can play it back properly on the Norelco. End of the test recording. This will now be. Now, the recording that was there was very weak. This recorder probably does need to be recapped for the audio signal capacitors. I don't really feel like doing that. It might be kind of hard to get down into there where they all are. Um, so I'll probably leave it how it is, but it's very, very quiet, especially the recording on the Sony when it played. Very quiet. I mean, that's why I had the microphone right in front of the camera so that he could hear it. But anyway, this is a very interesting machine. Um, I know there's some YouTuber, I know there's some YouTuber that likes to get old tape recorders and stuff and smash them for fun and make videos of it. I never even watched a whole video he has done because I don't even want to see it. It would hurt me emotionally to see it. But um, I know that he does destroy them. I think that honestly is not a good thing. These are historical items from the past. They're not those certain machines are not made to the, in this day. They are old, and they must be um, they must be kept, and they must be preserved. Now, this I mean this particular machine, I'm sure, is probably very rare. To have the t original table for it, everything is probably not something you'll want to find every day. So the recorder like this, it's a very special thing, and. Um, I'm making this video to document this historical item so other people on YouTube can see this video that will probably be over 15 minutes long. Sunday.